how did you record a song in 1950? Mm -hmm. Did you open up your laptop and have like infinite tracks that you could choose from and like all these synthesizers at the tip? Like you didn't have any, you had a microphone and some baller musicians in a room. You hit record and hopefully the tape didn't tear when you did it. And like, like, so how, and, and that tape was expensive. So you had to be great at your instrument you had to know your songs. You had to have people that were incredibly competent, if not masters at yeah. their craft. And they're making really, really, really simple music. Yeah. Like really simple music. Yeah. But it's like, it's some of the greatest recordings of all time are like that. And what, oh, yeah. and now we care about like hiss in a recording. Right. I like, I just, it's like, to me, it's so unimportant. And like, and so I'm really trying to kind of go back to this, like learn, I think analog like has to come back. That's like ultimately like, like I've, I've like, I've grown a new passion for right. like, it's so expensive and it's so like hard to do, but like, did you, do you know, like when they would mix records back in the day, you had to like perform the mix. Like everyone would like be oh, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, have like right, three right. people and be like, yeah, these are yeah. your four faders. That's your four faders. Yeah. You hit play. And then it's like, ah, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Okay. Like start over. Let's like, just be really careful with the tape. All right. And then like, hopefully we get it. Otherwise that's like $5,000, like whatever it is like down the drain.